All right, y'all, apparently this photo came out today, which literally has just broken the internet. And we're gonna go over it. And we're also gonna dive a little bit deeper into Jack D altogether. I'm sure I'm gonna have some people argue with me on this, but I'm sorry, I don't agree with the popular opinion that this is actually Jack D. But don't leave yet. Y'all know I'm not gonna make a video unless we got drama. First, I'm just gonna explain why I don't think that's Jack D in that surveillance picture. Then we're gonna sip some tea. So when it comes to Jack D, I've noticed a pattern, if you will, in his looks. It's either one of two things, clean shaven or scruffy. So when it comes to his scruffiness, he doesn't in any photo I've ever seen ever have just a mustache and not the full on beard, sideburns all the way up and down. I don't know if that's correct saying sideburns. I personally don't have a beard, so not much experience here. And just a note, everything that I put in this video is public record, found, just in the world. All right, so let's dive in. We're going to start with Jack D's dad. His name is Scott. He is a kindergarten teacher in Cordialine, Idaho. And then his mom is Mo Myra, Moira, whatever, that lady's name off of uh, Shit's Creek. You know, the one that talks funny and does the weird plays, the mom. If you don't know, go watch the show. It's effing hilarious. Anyway, so here is a photo of them together. Two photos, sorry, can't count. And this is apparently their home in Cordialine. And I'm not going to knock the guy. He has a taste for vintage vehicles. I myself share that. So that 1977 postal Jeep in the driveway serves a purpose. So in addition to teaching kindergarten, Jack's dad is also an ice cream guy for the city. Ice cream! And when I say for the city, I'm not sure that he works for the city or he just has his own business with an ice cream truck. Now, all the time, I see teachers talking about they don't make enough money. Well, you may want to move to Idaho. So as I stated, both of his parents are teachers. His dad teaches kindergarten. His mom teaches third grade. And together, monthly, they have a total combined income of like 11 grand. To put that in perspective, his dad is grossing alone without the income of his mom almost 60 grand a year and I can tell you working in healthcare I did not even make that much now for those of you who watched the update video I think I put it out on Christmas the day before I don't remember but I mentioned Jack's aunt talking out about how he's doing and everything well Jack's mom is on the left here and his aunt who spoke for him is on the right as you can tell, the aunt is obviously the sister of the mom. What I do find extremely weird, though, is if you go to the aunt's Facebook, she is not friends with her sister, Jack's mom. In the comments from you guys, I've seen some that hint towards maybe a police cover-up. And I myself put out a video on Will Hendrick who was a student at the University of Idaho where one of the deputies on the police department actually suspected his demise could have been a cover-up. What I find funny is the comments always about speculation have to do with somebody in a position of power or something and that's the only reason that could happen. On that statement, that's where we get back into Jack's aunt, Brooke Miller. This is a quote from an article I saw. Lucky for us, the new owners are Dave and Brooke Miller. Owners of the 
Beaumont chain of businesses. This next piece from the article I found interesting. According to her husband, Brooke Miller attended the President Trump rally and demonstrated in Washington, D.C. on January 6, 21. However, she was not among those who stormed the Capitol building. Her husband said, my wife went to see what was kind of going on there, see what all the craziness was that was happening. She didn't go into the Capitol or anything like that. So then we get to this, the Kaylee Gonzalez car payoff fund. We're going to go through this really quickly. The week before Kaylee Gonzalez was brutally blank in Moscow, Idaho, she bought her dream vehicle. She was about to graduate a few weeks later. She had a trip to Europe already on the books with her friends in January, and she was well on her way to move to Texas to start her paid internship with a company that she was very excited to be a part of. Life was so good, all of her hard work was paying off. Christy, her mom, said the day she came home with the keys to that car was the happiest day of her life so far, and she was so proud of herself. She put 7500 down with the help of the family and financed the rest seventeen grand through STCU. She was beyond excited, and the reason she went back early that fateful weekend to Moscow was so that she could hurry and show it off to her best friend, Maddie. Recently, after having received the final death certificate, her parents were getting ready to drive into Spokane to Auto Nation and bring the necessary paperwork, which would have negated the deal, but then felt that they just could not do it. This car has become a part of Kaylee that they want to keep forever. It is one more way to keep her close. I feel like we could raise the money, this money, by Sunday if everyone shares it around the country. It would be one less thing the family would have to worry about. Are you in? Let's go. If 170 people gave $100, it would be covered. So just really quickly, I want to look at the GoFundMe that has been set up for Xana Kernadel. If you notice, it was set up by Maya Hippopotamus. Can't say that name. But there is a beneficiary listing, which is in fact Jeffrey Kernadel, Xana's father. Now we're going to jump back to the GoFundMe for paying off Kaylee's car. If you notice, it was organized by... Brooke Miller, Jack D's aunt. Now let's have a look at the beneficiary tab or section for this GoFundMe. We see it was organized by Brooke Miller and there is no beneficiary listed. What I find even stranger is in Brooke's friends, there is no Gonsalves and the parents Facebook you can still access of Kaylee. So you're not even friends, but you've organized this GoFundMe. I don't know. Just seems super strange. Whatever. Anyway, that's all I got. But stay tuned because you know I'm always digging. Like, share, subscribe. And if you haven't become a member yet, do it. That way you can get those super cute emojis.